Anywho, you're late. Did something happen? Yes, my father caught me. Thinking out of the castle wasn't easy after that. I was worried you wouldn't come. You are a strange girl. You know what I am, and yet you are not afraid. I don't care what you are. I just wanted to see you. Is that is that so wrong? No, not no, no, of course not. I wanted to see you too. Samir, do you mind if I sit next to you? Please do, Tiffany. Let's return to our conversation. I must know more of you. Okay. I'm Finally, we're out of that chapter. Oh, -ho, welcome back, friends. How was your journey this time? Did you find Nerly and obtain the pure heart? Sure did. Yes, as a matter of fact, we did. I just said that, Peach. Don't have to repeat everything I said. Nerly said that we would need the power of four heroes to save the world. Yes, Nerly said that. Oh, is that so? There is more than one hero? Well, if Mario and Peach are two such heroes, then you still need two more. Oh no! Oh no! Look! Over there! Oh no! The giant Zelda portal's getting big bigger! The void has grown. Hmm, I fear that our time grows short, dear friends. I will return to the light front again again. You young ones seek the next heart pillar. But first, allow me to tell you something that the mis that mystical book has already divulged to me. One person will determine whether the light or dark Protagonica predicts truly. Sorry. Both books refer to him as the bad in three. Oh, who could that be? But I know not what this means. I must return to my study to solve this conundrum. Okay. Now let's go and heal because I need to heal. Anywho, um, today I got, well, actually two days ago, I got Paper Mario. I mean, Paper Mario. And I have to say, I've nearly actually done it. I actually finished Chapter 7. I still have a lot of things to do, though. You know, some side quests, getting more badges. But I have to say, it's a very good game. Paper Mario is basically the what is the it's the game before Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door before this game. This is basically the third one in the Paper Mario series, and it's actually oh, by the way, uh, it's actually this is the actually the only game that's 2D. The other ones are 2.5D, where you basically, there's no flipping at all, you basically, uh, welcome to 10 years in, where you can recharge your batteries in just one night. It's 5 quick tonight, how does that sound? Hee hee, enjoy your stay, weary traveler. Anywho, um, yeah, like I say, Let's see, Paper Mario and Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door. They're not too deep. Good morning! Did you sleep well? Well, on your way then. They're not too deep, they're 2.5D. And you basically walk around the like, it wouldn't be one straight line, it'd be kind of a uh, 2D ish. Yeah, that sounds very good. Okay, let's change back to Mario here. Uh, excuse me for a second. Okay, back. Now, before we...
we go any farther in the story of this game, I'd like to just do something up here. Oh uh, yeah, story of this game. Yeah, because... Okay, let's change our pixel. I mean, Pixie. I mean, Pixel! Sorry, I got it right the first time. I always got confused with that, actually. Pixie or Pixel? It, I always thought it was Pixel, and, you know, the tape was kind of a. Uh, oh, look! A block! An invisible block that we can actually see. Ow. Wait, no, ow. I think. Ah! Damn it! I, I have platforming skills, you know. Uh. A block support. Okay. Uh. Okay. Um. Uh, what was I? I always got confused whether it's pixel or pixie because, you know, it could have been a big guy, but it's actually about. Anywho, we're about to get something that isn't that important. But it's uh, it's gonna be useful later. Trust me, it's gonna be useful later. Okay, what up? This is basically the very few times you're actually going to have to find invisible blocks. To get something. It's like not used very much, which is a scary reason because. You know it's a unique platforming thing. You got the cookie disc too! And look, it looks like a video game for the DS. Okay, here's something that looks very weird. Hmm. It's got pixel on it. Hmm. It should be something for later, I guess. Hello! Anywho. Let's continue on with finding out where we have to put our heart. Okay. Let's see. You know what? I'll cut to it actually. See you in a moment. Okay, here. Uh, let's put a bomb here. And let's go down the pipe. How do you go down the pipe? 18 minutes already? Wow, imagine. Wow, considering how long it's taken me for that cutscene and ow, actually get in here, ow, oh, uh, oh, and actually get in here, ow. Um, what takes a while longer? Ooh, look, the heart cover. Yeah, you, sh you should really go down that pipe yet. I still have a voice thing. I should either sell that or put that into storage. Anywho, oh, I just showed you that you it is possible to switch out your picks. Like, use movers, then switch it out. Oh, then use another pick. That could be useful if you use troll. You could, like, use a bomb troll. It's either A or glitch or something that takes a while to keep figure out. Anywho, we have put the third star in in the heart pillar and now we of uh, unlock chapter three. Wow. wow, that was a epic sentence. Yeah, I couldn't talk at all. That was epic. Anywho, I don't have to cut here because I can just use the return card. Yeah. But I'm already in the first time silly game. Anywho, also keep your Mario and Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, is more of um, RPG element. Instead of, you know, like it is, you know, it's basically, we fight enemies just by jumping on them or using our hammers. No, the way you fight enemies is more like an RPG, it's turn-based, it's turn-based, and you have more moves. I might do it up to you a bit, but not right now, maybe later. Anywho. Mario and his new friends opened the door, unsure of what they would find. All the while, Bernie's work is about finding the other two heroes, right in their minds. Were these other heroes somewhere in the, this new world? 
if that 